the early warning signs of colon cancer. Hey there, amazing viewers. Welcome back to our channel, today, we're diving into a topic that's crucial for everyone's well-being, the early warning signs of colon cancer. But before we get started, let me ask you a question, when was the last time you really paid attention to what your body is trying to tell you? We often get caught up in our busy lives, right? But it's important to listen to the whispers our bodies are sending us. Today, we're going to talk about something that might just save a life, the early signs of colon cancer. This video is intended for educational purposes only. The information provided here is not a substitute for professional medical or healthcare advice, diagnosis, or treatment. If you're excited to discover the early warning signs of colon cancer, hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more fantastic insights on nutrition and well-being. 1. Changes in Bowel Habits First up, changes in bowel habits. We all have our normal, right? But pay attention if things start to deviate from your usual routine. Bowel habits can change due to various factors, including diet, temporary infections, or other medical issues. While some people have a bowel movement once per day, others may have a few bowel movements per day. There is no normal for bowel habits, but if you experience significant changes or any of the following symptoms, seek medical attention. Normal stools should be easy to pass and usually brown in color. Abnormal stool color changes include. Seek immediate medical attention if you experience. Blood in your stool. Inability to pass gas. Mucus in your stool. Pus in your stool. Severe abdominal pain. Make an appointment with your doctor if you experience. Not passing stool in three days. Mild abdominal pain. Sudden urges to have a bowel movement with an inability to control it. Unexplained weight loss. Very narrow stool. 2. Blood in the stool. Now, let's talk about something that can be alarming, blood in the stool. It's not something to brush off, and we'll explore why. If you notice blood, either bright red or very dark, in the stool, talk to your doctor. Rectal bleeding or blood in the stool should never be ignored. Sometimes a blood test will reveal anemia, indicating further screening is needed. Pay attention to the color of the blood, whether it's on or in the stool, on the toilet paper, or in the toilet bowl. Discuss these factors with your doctor. 3. Abdominal discomfort. Feeling discomfort in your abdomen? It might be more than just a passing issue. Stay tuned for details on what kind of discomfort to watch out for. Most people produce about 1 to 4 pints of gas a day and pass gas up to 21 times per day. Any obstruction in the colon, including cancer, can hinder your ability to pass gas. If colon cancer is the cause of your bloating or pain, it is not uncommon to feel discomfort in that area. This can lead to signs of colon cancer. 4. Unexplained weight loss. Weight loss can be a great achievement, but if it's unexplained and unintentional, it might be a red flag. We'll delve into why. Rapid or unintended weight loss is a sign of colon cancer. In patients with cancer, Weight loss is often a result of cancer cells consuming the body's energy. Consult a doctor if you experience weight loss for no known reason to find out the underlying cause. 5. Feeling very tired weakness and fatigue. Fatigue is a common complaint, but when it's persistent, it's worth investigating. Let's uncover why fatigue could be a warning sign. Similar to patients experiencing weight loss for no reason, colon cancer symptoms can also cause constant weakness and fatigue. Since cancer cells multiply unchecked, the constant, extra energy consumption can cause you to feel very tired despite having normal rest. If you experience fatigue that is not alleviated by normal rest or sleep, seek attention from your doctor. 6. Constipation and Diarrhea Ah, the delicate balance of our digestive system. We'll explore how both constipation and diarrhea can be indicators of something more. A change in bowel habits, such as diarrhea, constipation, or narrowing of the stool that lasts for more than a few days is a sign to seek medical attention. 7. Stools that are narrower. Narrow stools can be caused by several things, ranging from harmless, temporary conditions to more serious underlying medical conditions. These include anything from low-fiber diets, temporary infections, irritable bowel syndrome, IBS, to colorectal cancer. Narrow stools, like pencil-thin stools, can be caused by an obstruction in the colon, like a tumor. For the most part, narrow stools that occur infrequently are not a cause for concern. 
but if you experience narrow stools for more than a week, seek medical attention from your doctor. Wrapping it up with a reminder, our bodies are incredible messengers. If you notice any of these signs, don't hesitate to consult with a healthcare professional. It could make all the difference. Before we wrap up, if you found this information valuable, give it a thumbs up, share it with someone you care about, and if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button for more insightful content. Like, share, subscribe. And now, with that said, thanks for watching, and until next time, take care of yourselves.